Hi Liv, welcome back. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm happy to see you again. To what, see you too. What brings you in? So I have some tingliness in my face. Okay. And sometimes in my foot legs after wearing heels for too long. Hmm. And my head. Okay. So tingling sensations in your face and your legs. And when did, did this begin? Hmm. Like six weeks ago. Six weeks ago. Were you doing anything in particular when the symptoms first started or did it just arise out of nowhere? Well, I think it's after I went to the party and was wearing heels for way too long. Oh, okay. I understand. And on a scale of one to ten, how intense do you feel them? I'm sometimes eight. Sometimes eight. Hmm. Do they uh, wake you up at night? It usually happens during the evenings, but not night. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and perform a neurological assessment of your face. Do you feel them in your hands by any chance? Hands? No. No, no not a, hands. A little bit, maybe, but okay. not as bad as my face, head, and, and legs. Okay. So face a little bit on the hands and then the legs. And uh, where are they the worst? On your face or your legs? Mm, on my face, head. Face and head are the worst, okay. Are you on any new medication by any chance? I'm not. Other than the allergy medication? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, any headaches or blurred vision or weird sounds in your ears associated with the mm. tingling sensations? No. No. That's a good sign. Okay, any major accidents or anything that, you know, was a trauma anywhere on your body? No. no. Okay, I understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize my hand. And um, I'll start by doing just an inspection of your face and your scalp. All right, I'm just gonna be using my hands for this. And we'll take it from here. Just your face. I'm looking for any blue colors, any purples, any pain when I do this? No, strong pain. No, okay. Any pain here? Here. Exploring your face, the skin. You're not running a fever, no excess sweating. A couple of moles or normal. Looking at the skin on your neck as well and your arms. Okay. Normal temperature. Even no excess sweating. A little bit cold, but not too much. to perform a scalp inspection next. I'm going to just uh, fetch my gloves. Oh. Do you feel any tingling sensations right now? Right now, not really. As I said, it usually happens towards the end of the day, evenings. Okay. And the 
let's go ahead and explore your scalp, your head, and um, see if there are any external signs or anything concerning if I'm able to trigger any of the tingling sensation. I want you to let me know. Going to begin just by looking at your scalp over in the front. I'm looking for the hair distribution, any signs of folliculitis, any ringworm, any redness that may suddenly arise as a result of me touching your scalp. Distribution is normal. any redness. Color is appropriate to your ethnicity. Blends well with the color on your neck and your face. No dandruff. No breakages. Thick strands of hair. What's in the back? Okay. All looks good. I'm gonna check the top of your head as well.
Oh, it looks normal. And I see you're not in any discomfort while I do this, which is good. So I'm not able to notice anything abnormal on your scalp just by visually looking at it. We're going to do a couple of tests and um, I'm going to check your dermatones on your scalp, your face, your arms and your chest. Okay. Uh, do you feel this? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And do you feel this? Yes. All right. So this is dull and this is sharp. I want you to keep your eyes closed and tell me if you feel sharp. Starting with. Sure. Good. No. Good. Sharp. Good. No. Sharp. No. Sharp. No. Sharp. Continue keeping your eyes closed and I want you to tell me if you feel this. Mm -hmm. Good. And you feel this. Mm -hmm. Good. And you feel this. Mm -hmm. And this. Yes. Good. All right. Now, can you uh, lift up your palms? Yes, and keep them just like this so I can inspect them. I'm looking at the palmar region, not seeing any signs of palmar erythema or red palms. Capillary refills within two seconds on your left palm. seconds within the right one. No signs of any nail clubbing or pinning. Okay. Oh, can you, yes, flip your palms facing down. You have a little scar right here. It's because of my cat. Oh, your cat did that? Okay. Alright, it's a little bit red, but it looks like it's healing. Other than that, I'm not noting anything else, no scars. Do you have any pain in your wrist when you do this? No. No, oh, good. All right. So let's check the dermatomes in your uh, arms as well. Keep your eyes closed and tell me if you feel me spraying water on your left or right hand. Right? Good. Good. Left to right, 
not right good perfect okay you can take the water all right you can lower your palms next up i'm going to touch you with something slightly sharper that has um two pinwheels and i'm gonna touch you with either one of them or both of them so i want you to say one or two okay one good one good two good one good two good Up, we're going to do a test that's called dull or cold <laughs> so i want you to keep your eyes closed and tell me if you feel a dull sensation like this mm -hmm. or a cold cold sensation like this okay all right cold good a vibration with um, this tool and um, it's not a very strong vibration I want you to keep your eyes closed and say yes when you feel it yes 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 down facing down yes good yes perfect all right okay now I want you to make the okay sign thumbs up yeah well the thumbs up sign <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to pull your fingers down don't let me do that all right Good. And now spread your fingers apart. I'm going to attempt to bring them together. Don't let me do that. Good. 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 Perfect. Okay. And now do the okay sign. Yeah, this is the okay sign. I'm going to attempt to pull through. Don't let me do that. Perfect. And um, bring the hands like this, like in a prayer. Any pain there? Any pain right here? No, good. Excellent. All right. Now I want you to lay down so I can explore your feet and your legs. Okay. All right, Alif. I'm going to just take a look at the front of your legs and feet. And then I'm going to ask you to 
flip with your face down so I can take a look at the soles of your feet. Just doing a visual inspection first. The top of your feet looks okay. Skin is clear, no lumps. No bruises or scars. My hair got stuck. Okay. Same observation on your left foot as well. Hmm, looks good. A little bit of a coldness not inflated, so no signs of edema. All right, let's go ahead and explore the bone first. At the top of your legs, I'm gonna do a light tapping. Bones are intact. Let's check um, your left foot as well. Okay, exploring the ankle. Good resonant sound. check the nerves that innervate the top portion of the skin on your feet and um, I'm gonna spray some water and I want you to tell me if you feel it hitting your left foot or your right foot over on your feet, on the top part of your feet. Is it sharp or no? Good. your calves and 
any pain when I do this? No. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna start off by doing an inspection of your heel. Region. Okay. Not noting any abnormalities. No discoloration. No scarring. No moles. Any pain when I do this? No. Okay. I'm going to do a light tapping of the plantar region next. Starting with the heel. sharp shooting pain, any tingling sensations that may arise as a result of this. Right here. Right there? Mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, discomfort or tingling sensations? Tingling. Tingling sensations, okay. Let's try it again. scale of 1 to 10, how intense were they? A 2. A 2. Okay, not very concerning. Okay. So I'm not too concerned, but I'll make a note of this. So right over here. Do you feel this? And this? Any tingling sensations when I do this? Do you feel this sharp or dull? Sharp. Good. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Hmm. So nerve endings are all right. Interesting. All right, let's do some tapping over on this leg as well. sensations over here again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any pain when I do this? No. No pain associated with them, which is good. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. And this? Yeah. And this? Yeah. Any pain when I press down like that with that pressure? Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, a yeah. Two again? Hmm, okay. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. And this? Good. All right, so both of your feet seem to be experiencing the same tingling sensation at the top right here. Okay, I'm going to do another test with a slightly sharper device. And I want you to say yes when you feel me touching you. Good. And 
do you feel one pin well or two? One. Good. And now? Two. Very good. And do you feel me spraying water on your left or your right foot? Left. Good. Right. Good. Left. Good. Right. Good. sensation. Do you feel this? Yeah. Good. And do you feel this? Mm. Good. Can you wiggle your toes? Yes. Yep, yeah, wiggle them. Move your toes, yep. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So you have mobility in your toes. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm going to measure this area right here where you experience the tingles. That's about eight inches and a half. Eight inches and a half. Symmetric. Your heel across is about 5.5. 5. So this one is a little bit bigger than this one. Okay, it's your big toe. About 2.7. 2.6. Mm, so a little bit more enlargement of the plant a region over on this one, including the toe. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll leave this concludes the examination today. I did a very thorough inspection of your face, the dermatomes in your chest, your arms, your legs and your feet. I haven't found anything abnormal. But the tingling sensations, especially the ones in your feet, are something that we should monitor. Um, so I would recommend that you come back in about six months for another detailed inspection. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah. You think it's fine for me to keep wearing heels? The heels, yes. Um, how often do you usually wear them? Twice a week. Twice a week, okay. That's not too bad. So um, I would say yes, you can continue wearing them. Maybe not more than a couple of hours, two, three okay. hours tops every time you wear mm -hmm. them. And um, if the tingling sensations do get worse, then uh, I'd recommend that you st stop wearing them. Okay. All right, very nice seeing you again then. Nice seeing you too. I'll see you in six weeks, I guess. Yes. Six months. Six months, yes. Okay, thank you.